Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Tag us in your makes. We love to see what you're making. We're very sociable. Follow us to stay up to date with everything new at Tonic Studios. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Stay up to date with Tonic Studios by subscribing to our mailing list. Never miss a video. Like, subscribe and hit that notification icon. Have you got a question for us crafters? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the Tonic Craft Kit and get 10% off every order. Every order! Have you got a big order? Pay in instalments using ClearPay, ShopPay and PayPal. Need to know when your favourite products are in stock? Click notify me when available and we let you know. Can't wait to get a die set? Click notify me when available, we'll let you know. Visit the Tonic Studios craft room for inspiration, information and tutorials all in one place. Looking for a freshly launched product? Head to the new launches tab on the Tonic Studios website. Welcome to Tonic Studios. Welcome to our craft along for this month's kit. I'm Leo, for those of you who don't know, I'm here today with the lovely Alison. Hello. And we have Cam behind the cameras today. Hello. And yeah, it is our craft along for our current kit. This is our wildflowers and florals kit. It is. It oh, no, is. Oh, kit 62, can you believe? Wow. Kit 62. It doesn't seem that long ago we launched the first kit with a little head jog. No, I don't remember that. Oh, this little <laughs> hat, who remembers that? Oh, yeah, if you if you had the first kit, do let us know. I'd be interested to see how many people still remember that. Let's have a look who is joining us I today. I can see lots of names oh, going on here. Know. So Gail is with us from a very cold Houston in Texas. Uh, yeah, we feel you on that one, Gail. It is very oh. cold down here. What were we at when we came in? Like minus, minus eight when I came out yeah. to the door this morning, which was a little bit chilly for me. But yeah. yeah, we're not used to this kind of temperature. No. You know, here across the UK, we're kind of like in the middle of the barometer, you know. It doesn't get particularly hot and it doesn't get particularly cold. We're kind no, of, you know, doesn't. midland. So when it gets very hot, we can't cope with that. And when it gets quite cold, and we, for us, this is very cold. We can't cope with this either. We're the last time I remember it. it, minus eight, was the beast from the east. Mm. That was a, oh, I'm going to say three years. It was before COVID. Pre-COVID, yeah. Was it 19, maybe 18? Could be. Do you remember that? 19, it was around about April, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And I can remember being in the car park in, in the supermarket and it was minus eight then. It's, and just, it was it's unheard of temperatures for us, really. It, Absolutely. It, yeah, we're lucky if it goes below zero normally. It just doesn't happen. So, yeah, we're 
very cold, hence scarves and cardigans <laughs> and thermals and fleecy tights and all the rest of it today. Um, so who else is here? We've got Kaz here with us. Um, Regina is here from Chile, South Carolina. Oh. Um, Crafty Ladybug from Rhode Island. Um, hasn't had her materials, but she's going to watch along anyway. And obviously, you know, save us. You can come back once your kit has arrived if it hasn't come through yet. This is a good box, though, that you can use a lot of other dyes with. Absolutely. This is just a basic box. Exactly, exactly. So think of it like that. Um, Jill is joining us from a very cold Kent. Yeah, I think you've had snow down in Kent as well. Oh, it's so, looking uh, nasty. Yeah, keep keep warm, everyone. Keep snug up. We've, we've got a little radiator between us. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping extra warm. So you know if we start getting very red in the face. That's why. Yeah. It'll be the radiator. Um, Suzanne is joining us from... What am I saying, Suzanne? Sue is joining us <laughs> from Mid-Cheshire. It's minus nine. Wow. Hiya, Sue. Oh, no, she's had a burst water pipe as well. Sue, Oh, no. no. Oh, I'm sorry to oh, hear that. Oh, that's not what you want. That is not good. I hope you get that sorted soon. Because not having water is no fun. No. Hope you've got a nice plumber there. Yes, indeed. Uh, Blake is joining us. Hi, Blake. Hello. Um, everyone is loving the headbands. Yeah, we're, we're very festive at the moment. We're fully embracing <laughs> the festive spirit. It's, it's well, basically... We're nearly there, aren't we? We're almost in the last week of term, you know? We are. We are. I mean, it's, it's kind of got the last week of term vibe already. Absolutely. We're all having a bit We've of a We've been like that for a month. <laughs> Shh, don't give away our secrets now, Al. We've, you know, we've started doing the annual pre-Christmas tidy around the office. And when I say tidy, I mean, you know, a couple of small piles might have disappeared by the time you see us again in January, mm. but that's probably about... I did throw a few bits in the bin. She did. She I did. did. I've just been putting my mess in your room. That's true. Cam <laughs> just keeps coming in. Do you want this? Do you want this? Can you find a room for this? This is why our room never gets tidied. Because Don't give excuses. We can't say no to anything. We are true crafters still. And if anyone comes in, like Rich will come in, Cam will come in, would you like? The answer is yes. Of course it is. Of course it is. Always going to be yes. Yeah, exactly. Because we can't throw anything out. Can I, we? I hate to see anything being thrown away. Well, I was checking, going back now to when we were doing the MDF units, I had loads of little acrylic paints and I thought, oh gosh, I'm going to check all these. And a few of them had to go out because they'd split and it was, you know, that clear gunky paint that comes out. <laughs> it's really probably, nasty. Probably not good. No, no. No, they went in the bin. No, that's fair enough. Um, so apparently Crafty lady, Ladybug has a dusting of snow. <gasps> See, I don't mind if it's cold if you've got snow, because then at least it looks pretty. Yeah. It's just cold for no good reason here at the moment. Um, <laughs> Melissa is here with us and Mand as well. So welcome on in, everyone. Hello. If you are crafting along with us during this and you have any questions, obviously just pop them in chat. We'd be happy to ask, uh, answer them, not ask them, answer them. Um, if we're going too quick or if you need something re-explained, let us know. But before we dive into that, we have a look at what actually came in this month's kit? In case you yes. haven't seen the kit yet, we'll have a look through. Let's move that to one side for what a What we've got. So, go through the dies first. Mm -hmm. Let's take everything out. Yeah. Because the box just gets in the way. Hopefully that one. There we are. Here we go. <coughs> Filed. <laughs> so we had an extra die in this yes. one. So... Where can I put these? Oh, there you are. That's a good view. Yes. So you had an extra set of dies. So you had three acetates of dies mm -hmm. set and stamps. So it's just a little bit crooked. Sorry, it's just a fender oh. autistic eye. So okay. Uh, there we go. Fix that. There we go. All right. <laughs> so we had the outer edge of the frame. So you had the outer rectangle. Oh. There. Then we had the inner pattern. Then we also had an extra little die. I think we've stuck these on with our 3D tape and it's boy is it sticky. It's very, very, very sticky. Yeah. So this little edge here gives you the ability to either cut a panel in a different colour. Mm -hmm. So you could cut an extra panel to go underneath the flowers in a different colour but not affect the next bit. Mm -hmm. And the next bit fits in there. So it's very snug. You can't cut them together. You have to cut them separate. Mm -hmm. 
but you could either cut this panel in a separate color mm -hmm. cut this panel differently lots of ways you can layer this up make it look really beautiful mm -hmm. on top of that then let's pop that back we had a little message plaque which says um if da 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 with flowers i'd pick you so your choice of da 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 <laughs> is either friends mother or sister mm -hmm. it's a nice little option if you do a bit of calligraphy then you could put something else mm -hmm. in yeah you you've could got put the blank die cut so you can cut your own and Absolutely. add your own you could do it on the computer computer generated yep. Yep. Um, you could put your mom in there, you could put your daughter Aunties, in there, daughters, auntie, yeah. anyone you fancy. Dads. Dads yeah, can be flowers too. They can. Yeah. Or you put their name. Mm -hmm. If Susan's were flowers, I'd pick you one. Something like that. A bit more fun. Then we had extra tags. So we had a ribbon slider with a hole each end that you just thread onto a ribbon. Then we had the little tiny one that's just a little hanging, um, like a little bauble. Mm -hmm. And that's where one of our tags was made yep. into baubles. Um, there's a layer that fits onto there as well. Layer that fits onto the slider. Mm -hmm. And we had three different flowers. Then your stamps then were sending love and kisses. You're in my thoughts, sending butterfly wishes. Thanks for being you, best friend, just for you, I miss you, thank you, and on this special day. So, lovely little sentiments, and there's a little heart there that comes on its own. So they really are pretty, mm -hmm. pretty, pretty, pretty. So that's that pack. So we'll just slot them into there for a sec, because I'm gonna need one of those dies. Then your papers. Mm, lovely selection this. <gasps> Look at them. So you have two sheets of everything. And this will all be in your pack. So you've got your sea salt. You've got your... Soft amethyst. That'll be the one. Cream. Mm -hmm. Blue frost. Aubergine. Is this... I was going to say, I wasn't sure if it was aubergine or boysenberry. It's aubergine, so take that last one out. Of that one's right. not there. Yeah. There we are. So that is your colour palette. And it is a lovely, lovely, gentle, mm -hmm. pretty colour palette. You you know, if, if one of these colours is not your favourite, swap it for another one. Yep. So we're going to pop those away. And then and the fun stuff. Go on then, Leo. Off you go. So, in your grey bag, loveliness this month we have had da -da 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 -da, some ivory white card blanks and envelopes we've had um, a mister bottle a spray bottle which is very nice. handy and I love the fact that you can lock this yes. as well I think it's one of my sorry not on camera you can lock this and unlock it with this little thing here so you don't spray it by accident love 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 I like the fact that these will hang on a shelf yeah. as well though we've got ours all we've lined up we've got loads on a shelf we've got a crystal drop this one is in buttermilk, buttermilk. lovely colour we have an embellishment mousse which is lilac lavender I'm going to pop that there in fact I'll pop it there so you can actually see the colour and you can take that on a sponge mm -hmm. and just rub it over a plain white sheet of card and you get the most gorgeous pearlescent card oh, you with really it. do. you really do we've also got one of my favourite products ever a shimmer powder this one is in falling leaves everyone knows how much I love you shimmer do. powder and then lastly, we had a bit of an either or. So we have the aubergine double face satin ribbon and you'll either have the nine mil or the three mil, depending on So this is your three mil on here. So there's a kind of mix and match in the kits. You'll either get a thick one or a thin one. But it's the same color and it goes beautifully with everything Absolutely. else in the kit. Absolutely. Oh, Leah's here saying purple. Yes, lots of purple. Welcome on in Leah. Hope you're having a lovely day. So if I move these across the way. So that was everything that came in the kit. 
I don't have my um, my special card. You carry on talking about what we we're doing. I'm gonna find my card. Oh all right. Kit info on it. Oh, there we go. So this is what we're gonna make today. We're gonna go start to finish and show you exactly how we've made it. Hopefully with some tips as well. That if you're struggling, then we can help you. So this box is huge, mm -hmm. as you can see. Perfect for this time of year. Inside, oh, that's a good shot. Ah, oh, look at those pretty twinkly lights. I love twinkly lights. Oh, I'm me. Any time of year, but especially at this time of year. Absolutely. I mean, you could even put the lights to the front and put your gift behind mm -hmm. because there's a lot of room in there. It Absolutely. Is. And you could still make this for Christmas, I think, and do it as Christmas flowers. It's a 14 centimetre square box, is that right? Uh, uh, yes, it is. I had to think then, which is 14. Yes, it is. So your 14 is your base. Yeah. Yes. Should we start? Mm -hmm. Are you getting a bit impatient now? Leah saying, wait, is it Friday? No, no, it's kick craft long day, Leah. Um, it's not It's not weekend of madness. That's tomorrow's fun. It is still Thursday, I promise. Oh, do you know, it's not good when you've got a little arm, is it? <laughs> Only one of them's little arms. Right? <laughs> yeah, just the one. Just the one. <laughs> okay, so I've brought down my scoreboard and my scoring tool. So we're going to start oh off... This is our pack. Let me show you the pack, see, make sure you were up to scratch with me. And if you're not, then it doesn't matter. We can hang fire. There's another one in there. And that's empty. Good little storage case, these are. Mm. So we've written, Leo wrote everything down. So our blue frost is going to be, let's bring this in, it's going to be the sides of the box. So we haven't done anything with those two. Then we have the gorgeous amethyst, which is cut into two rectangles, which is going to fit inside the box to reflect out that gorgeous light. And that is cut into 20 by 14 centimetres for the two sheets. Then we have... Um, now I think one of these, you either need an extra sheet or you may need to cut the base from cream because mm -hmm. I think that would be too much of the card. Yeah, I think it probably would be. So I think your base may need to be cream, okay? So you're going to cut this into one of the sheets of your sea salt. Another sheet of your sea salt is going to be 17 by 17 centimetres. And the last one then is going to be 14 by 14 centimetres. But this may need to be cream unless you've got another sheet of it. Mm -hmm. And you could cut this twice, just to let you know, because you can sturdy up the base a bit then. But we haven't at this point. And I'll show you how you get to this point as well. So you're going to need two of these. And the rest is decoration. So... Let's pop all these to one side. Has anybody got their pieces cut? Are you all? Yeah, hands up if you're crafting along with us today. Let us know if you're joining with us. Have you had your kit? Yes. Right. So I'm thinking how I'm going to construct my box now. Looking at the front, if I tip, oh, tip the lid off, tip this over. I don't want any joins to be coming where I've got my pattern. So my join is going to be, if I tip this out, my join is going to be here and it's going to be, oh there is one there, but it's, it's not, there's one this side here and the other one is this side, but it's not affecting my pattern. I don't want any join here. Mm -hmm. That's where you do not want to join. Okay. So I'm going to start off... Oh, centimetres, I want. <laughs> Turn it over. So we have 14 centimetres. 
so draw your boat your tool down 14 then we're going to do 28 so 25 6 7 8 and the rest then is going to be my tab i may need to trim one of them but we'll check on that okay then we're going to flip this around and i'm going to need let me have a little check again 20 20 20 centimeters so we're not actually cutting anything off this box off this sheet to make the box how would this differ for eight and a half by eleven eight and a half by eleven you could do it let me just if i flip this piece i was gonna over, say if we flip that over and we put the beef on it we can see roughly where it's gonna fall can't we? let's move that okay so you're gonna have to make it a little bit smaller i would say mm -hmm. so you could go down to five inches yeah five and a quarter possibly because five and a quarter would take you then up to ten and a half mm -hmm. so you'd have your half inch yeah glue tab yep. you need to have a glue tab so you could either go five centimeters ten centimeters and then i would trim off half an inch mm -hmm. because i don't want a massive tab yep. And then the other way then, if you've got eight inches, I would go seven and a half. Is it eight and a half? Hold on. Eleven by... Eight and a half, eight isn't and a half, it? So eight, eight and a half. half. So you can wider. do exactly the same yeah. then. So you could do it eight. Eight inches. Yep. So, so it's only going to be marginally smaller, not hugely. No, it won't be much. Not at all. Good. Okay. So you could go five either five or five and a quarter mm -hmm. by either ten or ten and a half that is going to be your sizing in the us and then obviously you cut off a little bit if you want to and eight inches so you're going to be a little bit taller a little bit shorter little, nice. there we are yeah a little bit taller a little bit narrower mm -hmm. that's the word <laughs> so you're going to do exactly the same now with the other one so Sorry, I'm confused, you know, I have my asking, you, uh, asking you a question. Oh, don't confuse me. <laughs> I've had lunch now, that's the trouble. You know that I love it's nap lunch. time. Nanny nap, isn't it? Absolutely. There we go. So 14 and 28. I always like to go up in Wednesday and check. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. 14 and 28. If you keep everything on the same side, then you know when you finish it, everything is going to be in the right place. Mm -hmm. And then your score line at the bottom was, I've forgotten now. 20. 20. Mm -hmm. I've had another conversation now since then. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about inches and different size paper. There we are. Confused everything. So that is my two sheets scored. So your first thing, let's get rid of this. Drop it under there. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. So fold all your, your score lines. Now one of these you are not going to cut into. But the other one you are. I'm not going to cut my tabs yet. I'm just going to do my scoring. Because once it's been through my die cutting machine, then it does, um, it does flatten things a mm, little bit. It kind of pushes the score lines back out. It so. does. It does. There we are. So there is my score lines. The other thing I wanted to say is, make sure you know where your lid is coming down to. So my lid is, I believe. Centimeter and a half? Yes, I thought it was. So I'm going to come down here a centimeter and a half. So I line it up there, so that's on the bottom, and then I'm going to take the die and make sure I've got plenty of room at the top. No, it's not that one. It's that one. Uh, you do want to measure that one because that's going to be the outer edge, isn't it? You are right. You are right. 
Um, Karen is asking if we'll be getting any more of the bone from using out. Um, it's something that we have asked Simon about. We don't have an answer yet. Um, but if we have any news on that for you, Karen, we will let you know. There we go. So I'm going to use everything, all my dies. So I don't need to measure. I'm going to just use my dies to measure. I love when you can do that. It makes life so much easier. Absolutely. Instead of the ruler and pencil, put dots on everything. You can use a ruler and a pencil. That's not going to make any difference at all. So, make sure where everything is lined up. So what I'm looking, I'll bring it more central for you. So I'm looking at my gap around the die. So I'm looking each side and my straight. That's my first thing. Have I got about the right depth each side? And have I got room for my centimetre and a half? So centimetre and a half is going to be about there. And roughly, yes. So you could draw a pencil line here if you wanted to, just to know exactly where you are. So that is going to be where I want my die to sit. And then I'm going to slot this die into the centre. There we go. So let me get a bit of tape now. So a couple of bits on the tangerine already. Oh yeah, there's loads here. So all these spare pieces of tape, all these spare dies now, I'm going to move and tape down. Tape it down well, I would say, mm. because you don't want this to move. You've measured this accurately, so you really don't want any movement. And the other thing I'm going to say, if you've been a die cutter for a long time, you're going to be looking at this and thinking, why is she cutting in the middle of her plate? What's mm -hmm. she thinking? That's never going to cut. Exactly. But it will. Mm -hmm. It will cut. We make it cut. I'm going to give you some tips now. I'm looking at that in my straight. Mm, I may be out slightly. Oops. Oh. There we go. So I'm going to take my cutting plate, which is my orange, and my top plate, which is my white. The worst place to be cutting on your plate is going to be the centre. And this is a detailed die. There's a lot of detail in this. So my head tells me this is not going to cut properly. So then we have you know, a couple of tips and techniques that are going to help you to get this to cut because you know, we all know it's not going to probably cut first time and that's fine you know, as long as you are aware that it's unlikely to um, you know, run it through, see what you get Take it back and forth Yes And I'll show you exactly what I get at the end then I know there have been some questions on this from this kit specifically. Okay. And it could be the same if you're making cards like this. Mm -hmm. Let me check that on there. So, if you look at this, I'm hoping you can see on your camera, there's a piece in the middle there that clearly has not cut. And that's exactly what I was expecting. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to give you two little options. So what you can do is put your green mat on top. I just need to straighten my card a little bit because it's gone over the edge. Put your green mat on top with your embossing plate. And run this through because obviously this is going to squeeze the die into the card. It's a nice kind of flexible. Oh, oh I love the this sound. Noise. This is amazing. You've got that nice flexible mat that's really going to push the paper into that die as it goes through, which is lovely. Okay, so take that off and have another look. Okay, so I think looking at that, I think lots of it have cut, but I think. There's a couple here. So I'm going to run it through my orange plate again. Mm -hmm. well, let's hold on just before we do that. Let me just oh. pick that so you don't end up with that. 
Yeah, you Dink. don't want that. There's another one up there. There's nothing more infuriating than when you've got oh, when you a tiny have a little waste. die cut. Yeah, and it's in the middle of your panel. Absolutely. You do not want that. No, definitely not. Okay, so run this again. And you've turned this upside down this time, so you've got white on the bottom. I have. It doesn't matter off. which way you cut. The only reason I've left it like that is because I didn't want to move my die. There we are. Static. I know, you can hear it go. Tss, 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 tss. There we are. So I think we are. Hmm, there's a little bit that hasn't cut for there. So if this doesn't work, then I'm going to give you another tip. It may be because I, when I put it upstairs, this is all I've needed to do. But obviously, die cutting machines are different. So we'll show you another one. Um, right, I need to turn this over now. It's so rare I do this. What I'm going to do is put a little shim. Now the only bit that's not cut is a little bit here and it's right in the middle. So I'm going to take a piece of card and it's it's just a normal card. There's nothing I think it's a 240. So I'm going to pop that. Make sure it doesn't go over the edge of the die. The reason being is you'll have a deboss on the front of your box and you do not want that. There we are. So my die, my paper fits on top of the die. Pop your plate on the top again. And this means that you're only adding that additional pressure to the part that hasn't cut. You're not putting it over the whole thing, which is going to defeat the purpose. Really. Exactly. And I know like that's something a lot of people do. They shim the entire thing, but then you're just even the evening the pressure across your entire thing again, whereas you want it specifically on the part that exactly. hasn't cut. Exactly. So this now is yeah. going to cut everything. Let me take it off gently because this is very much embedded in my cardstock now. There we are. So all those bits, should have picked the pokey tool, but I didn't. Everything there is cut. Excellent. So, repeat. There you go. So now you can cut large die cuts in the centre of your plate. It's just about exactly. knowing how to use all of the tools to make it work for you. Absolutely. I mean, I'm sure... Hi, Hi Bear. Merry Christmas. I'm sure I'm teaching some of you. It's like teaching grannies to suck eggs. And I'm sure I'm doing that with some of you. Cam's looking at me very, very, you very confused. You've never heard the expression, teaching your granny to suck eggs. No. Really? Have you not? You're such a spring chicken, you really I are. feel like I learn a lot of new sayings every time I either walk into your room or we're down here. I, but yes, I've never heard of that. You've never heard of that? Okay. I just, just don't know what to up. say. I can't believe you've not heard it. Oh. This is a good one for keeping all these bits for shaker cards. Yes, that'd be nice confetti. It would. I'd go one step Especially in Especially in a nice pearly... Why have I got... There we are. Got him. Oh, and another one. I should have brought a pokey over and didn't. This is my fault. Oops. Oops, yes. Rookie error. There we go. So there's my die. And we're going to repeat this on the other side. So I don't want to measure it all again. That's a bit too much faff. <laughs> so look at what you've cut. Line it. And just line it up. So we more or less straight there. And there, I'm about the same distance. That will do nicely. So I really didn't want to make any of this box without you being with us. Because I wanted you to be doing exactly the same thing mm -hmm. as I was doing. 
especially this part because I know a lot of people have questioned the size of these dies and said they've had problems getting them to cut and so on. So I think this is something that we've not really shown a lot because oh, we tend we to avoid cutting in the middle yes. of the plate where possible. So hopefully this has given you some tips and you know it is very possible to cut larger yeah. intricate dies in the middle. You've just got to use all of the tools at your disposal to get it to cut. I mean, and years ago, before we had the tangerine, this used to happen frequently. But it doesn't happen as often. No, I was going to say, you know, it doesn't matter what machine you have, there will always be some die cuts that you probably will struggle with, um, you know, regardless of... So this, the same thing has happened to this mm -hmm. as the last one, exactly the same. So I'm going to move all that off. Cleaners are going to be really happy with me this week. Especially now we don't have carpet down here. It's probably even harder to hoover these uh, I know, tiles. I'm sorry. But you don't want to watch me picking all this out and putting it in a clean place, do you? No. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the shim this time. So flip it over. And now it's stuck. Okay. I don't want anything to move that. Mm. Yeah, there are any bits of fallout in the no. they shouldn't be. Just make sure as you do it. There we are. So again, it's the centre of my plate, exactly the same as the last time. So I've turned my shim over. I'm hoping, you may need a different piece of card. Um, because as you run it through, you can press in the fibres in the card, so it may not be enough pressure, but we'll try it. Try anything once, isn't it? <laughs> Give it a go. Just don't do it again if it don't work. Yeah. How are we looking? Mm, I think we're looking pretty good, but there. If you know, if you want to know when it's cut, you almost see like a faint grey line, like a pencil line, going through the die. So let's give it a little tweak. There we are. Mm -hmm. That's it. I've got a couple of little bits there that are going to have a poke, and that is it. So that is my main part of the box. Excellent. So that was easy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I haven't got no more cutting to do now. Nope. That's me lot for today. <laughs> well, for now anyway. Right, so reinforce these lines again. And then I'm going to take my little scissors. I know what else I didn't grab was the glue. How silly of me. Do you want me to grab some for you? If you don't mind. I can do that. I have not a problem. So where your fold line is, cut a little notch. Bonus do notches? Bonus notches, yes. On the other side, where your other fold line is, do the same. And I usually take a tiny little bit off the end there. I didn't fold that line, I don't think. There we are. So that is going to be the two fronts of your box. So the next one now is exactly the same, but no cuts in this one. So fold all your lines. How are you doing anyway? Is anyone making along with me? Yes, yeah, if you are crafting with us, let us know how are you doing. Have you managed to get your shim to work if you needed one? Or did you just need the embossing mat? There we go. So we've reinforced all that. So again, cut a little V where the, the lines join, just on the junction. One on the corner. And then another V where the other lines join. There we are. And that then we're going to glue together. So your first bit, we're going to glue those two panels together 
then the tab on there will glue to the other side and you've got plenty of room because there is no no cut out on this side mm -hmm. your layer is going to go on top so a little bit of glue thank you you're welcome did we have anyone making with that i'm oh, just waiting to see there you go Oh, so um, Sue is saying um, she had to disappear, but she's back now. Um, it's a lovely set, and she may need to buy herself a Christmas gift. Oh, oh. you should, Sue. So I will actually just run through that for those of you that haven't got your kit already. This kit is available until the 18th. That is the day that this one switches off. Um, so if you wanted to grab this kit specifically to be able to make the box that Alison is putting together today, um, you can buy as a one-off kit. Um, in the UK, that's £34.99, and in the US, that's $39.99. Um, if you subscribe now, then it will be this kit that you receive first of all. And in the UK, a monthly subscription is £29.99 and it's $32.99 in the US. You can also subscribe quarterly, uh, which is £89.97 in the UK and $97.97 in the US. And of course, if you are a kit subscriber, you then get your TCK code, which gives you 10% off everything else across the Tonic Studios website as well, including all of our bundles and our deals so definitely worth doing if it's something oh, you've been considering. Absolutely. Maybe buy yourself a Christmas present. That's a lovely a Christmas present <laughs> isn't it? I would. And you've got something to look forward to then mm -hmm. you know those bleak months. I think January and February can be really bleak and you know you've got something nice coming through the post for you. So there we go. So I've glued my tabs together and made the box. If you didn't want to put this panel inside, you don't have to, because you could just layer the panels on top. Mm -hmm. But I think this is a good place to start if you're making boxes anyway. To make a die that makes a box like this is, it's gonna be a crazy size, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You know, we do A4 die sets as it is. But that is two mm. halves of an A4. So it would be a very big die just to make that. So what I'm doing now, I'm pushing down the tabs onto the top. So I'm gonna take my layer, whoops, that is 14 by 14. And that is gonna sit on the top. Obviously, if you've only got two sheets of um, C, 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 yeah, C foam and C grass, we're going through my head. <laughs> Close. Nearly there. Yep. Um, you may not have enough for the base. So in this case, I would say use your cream because you've got plenty of cream there. But we're going to glue this on the base. Um, Cam, is this still showing on YouTube, do you know? Um. Um, if anyone is watching on YouTube, just give me a little wave or say hello. I'm just noticing that I'm not yeah, seeing any YouTube's pop up. I, I think the chat's not working properly. It's oh, not. No. I'm not even seeing any messages. Obviously, you're. I can see Facebook and I can see Twitch. I've, yeah, I've physically gone on YouTube chat, and I mean the YouTube chat is there's loads. Huh. Okay, so we're not seeing it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Are there Should any? I refresh? Okay. I've refreshed it. It's still, it's still not, not working. working. Oh yeah. no, I'm so sorry. If I'm missing any of the comments people are making on YouTube, I feel terrible. I will keep an eye, and if anything pops up, I'll um, okay. give you a shout. Or if you want to. I'm going to see if I can. So, yes, yeah, Sue is saying she lost the YouTube connection as well. So, okay. While Anderson's talking, I will find us on YouTube. And, uh... So, that is your base of your box. If you are a bit of a neat freak, then you may want to put another layer inside to hide those tabs, but also to strengthen your box. So what I would do is take your folder, press down, oops, go like that, press down on those layers just to make sure. Do you know, normally I would do this on a lower desk. <laughs> I know, it's so weird because we have like our normal desks that are much lower, and for us to come and craft down here, everything is that much higher. Absolutely. Because obviously our chairs are... Yeah, we would normally have desk chairs, not And I want to assume if Alison stools. stood up, it wouldn't really make a difference. It wouldn't make any <laughs> difference at all for me. So that is your box made. 
If you want to strengthen it, you put layers on it. You put layers in, you can put layers outside, depending on what you're going to put into this box. So our lid now, we're going to make the lid. So again, oh look at this, I threw my school, my board on the floor. Oh, oh what do you like? Right, can I make Little this? Little vandal can I make a chat bigger? Little vandal. I have to make oh. the lid. Let's get rid of that. Right, I'm going to go back through YouTube now, chat now that I can see. I'm so sorry everyone, I'm not sure what's happened. It's obviously having an issue. I'm just going to see if I have missed anything on here. Uh, da, 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 da. So I can see people are waiting for orders. I know, I we can't apologise enough. Obviously, I'm sure you're all aware that Royal Mail are having a lot of strike action at the moment here in the UK. There's kind of been rolling strikes that have been happening and that has massively impacted orders being collected from us as well as then moving about the country mm. into place where they need to go. Um, what I do know is that even on your tracking, if it's not showing that your tracking is updating, that's simply because it's not being scanned at various destinations, but it is still moving throughout the system. So I know a lot of people have said that their tracking says it's still in like the Cardiff sorting office, but it's actually been delivered to them because it's just not being scanned on the way, just because of the where they've been on strike for a couple of days and then they come back, obviously the postal builds up yeah. and they don't then scan everything as it goes through. So I can only apologise, obviously, you know, we're as frustrated as you are that you've yeah. not been receiving packages. Um, I've got packages in the post that are waiting to be delivered. Yeah, people's mm. Christmas presents and everything. Yeah. So we can only say sorry and, you know, we're doing everything that we can to get everything out to you and hopefully it will be with you very soon. Mm. And it's that time of year anyway. It is that time of, of year strikes, anyway. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Unfortunately, you know, the whole postal system at this time of year just falls apart generally because <laughs> everyone starts posting things funnily yeah. enough but yeah so we can only apologize that things are taking longer than normal to get with you um hopefully oh, they will be there soon and i'm very sorry that you haven't got your crafty goodies but sorry um da -da -da. right regina was saying she's not crafting along she's working she has got all of her things cut so she's ready to go when she finishes work excellent oh, brilliant. i'm glad to hear that don't forget Put a picture in the group, share it with yes, everyone. Yes, yeah, so anyone who ha is crafting along or will be crafting later, pop the photos over there, we'd love to see it. Um, oh dear, sorry, I'm trying to scan through all of this now to read all of the chat. Do you want me to missed. do a little bit of You scoring. do a bit and I'll, I'll scan okay. and see where we're up to. So we have a 17 centimetre square. Again, this is in our sea salt. This is one, again, this could be cream entirely yes. up to you you could have a cream top green base or vice versa entirely up to you so score at one and a half oops one and a half centimeters there we go so i do have a question from regina okay um she doesn't have the embossing plate it looks very similar to a silicone heat mat do you think that would work I guess experiment is the only thing that we can say. Yes. Um, if you haven't got that, put a shim. Yeah, try the Just shim Just put first. a shim and that will cut it. So I wouldn't worry about the embossing mat. Just pop a shim in because it worked just as well. I just wanted to show you two different versions, mm -hmm. but it worked fine just with the shim. And uh, Mo is asking if Cam has fancy headwear as well today. No, he hasn't joined us with the fancy headwear. He is wearing a Christmas jumper though. He has at least deigned to do that. So, uh, it is Christmas hat day tomorrow. Is it? Yes. I hope what you have a Christmas saying? hat for tomorrow then. What are uh, you trying to say? <laughs> Need more Christmas hats. Uh, I do have a Christmas hat, but it's too small for my head. You never make cats big enough. I might have one enough. that might work. I, I, I may have something. Is it as glittery as yours? No, no, it's even better. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I see You're going to look so festive tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> so we've got um, a couple of people here saying they've managed to grab themselves the train and the botanical burst oh, boxes. Oh, perfect. Um, I think that was, who is that? Crafty Ladybug said they've got that. <gasps> Lovely. Um, Can I just uh, add on to the train? Um, so train is going to be back in stock Friday at half ten. The ones who grabbed it a bit earlier than they were supposed to in America, um, the rules still apply. So if people are saying that they've bought it, you um, there is stock. 
it's just going to be live again on Friday. Yeah. That was, it went a bit too early. Someone pressed a button that they shouldn't have done. Oops. So, yeah. I so, just is that put UK and US? Just, it was just the US that did that. Um, but, for tomorrow. but yes, so yeah, both are going to have train stock. So, tomorrow. Okay. Yes. 10 a.m. Half 10. Half 10. 10.30am yes. tomorrow, so I can't... I can make sure everything goes that. when it's supposed to go. It's going to be 10.30am UK time. Yes. And whatever time it is in America. <laughs> Early. Yes. <laughs> so Put your you, alarm clock yes, tomorrow. If you want a train and you're in the US, you've heard it here now, go and calculate for your time zone what 10.30am GMT is. That is when they're going live on the website. And I know that on Korean Craft they did sell out. And then they had more stock, so we don't have a lot. So if you want one, be quick. Yes, definitely. You don't want to miss out. Because we're no, definitely we not don't. getting it back in before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Um, yes, I think so. <laughs> okay, then have a look. I think I'm up to date. Yeah. Okay, so I've done my one and a half centimetre score all the way around. Um, what can I say for the US? Oh, Tammy says it says 10.30 p.m. on the UK website. Yes, I'm gonna update that now. <laughs> can may have just noticed a typo. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, Tabby. Very helpful. Let me get my board again, because I've dropped it, and I will give you I a measurement for the US. Time. Okay. <laughs> Raquel is saying that, um, she spotted her mailman shoving an envelope frantically into the mailbox, which was clearly too big. Uh, so she yelled out to him, don't kill it, there may still be life left in it. <laughs> <laughs> there could be precious dyes in that envelope, please oh, don't bend it. Oh dear me, oh dear. Right then, so you could do this. I'm trying to think now, what did we say before? Oh, so we said either five and a quarter or five and a half, I We think. did, we did. No, five or five and a quarter, which would take you to... 10 or 10 and a half is what we said because you've yes. only got 11 to play with haven't you so if you're doing five and a quarter then i would say take it up to six and three quarters and that will give you three quarters of an inch um lip to go around the box so that would mean your whole piece then would be i gotta do these maths now five and a quarter six and a half six and a half square no that's not right no five and a quarter six and three quarters five and a quarter six six and three quarter inch square if you were doing a five inch box then you would need you could go to an inch i would say yeah you could have a slightly deeper, I would have a deeper yeah so i would say go to seven inches square and then have an inch around. Mm -hmm. If you go into six and three quarters, I would say have three quarters of an inch to go around. Yeah. So basically, yeah. however big you want your side pieces, you've got your 14 centimetres or your five or five and a quarter inches, and you yeah. add the depth that you want the lip to be to either side. Yes. Important to remember to do it on either side. Yes. <laughs> I've made many <laughs> a box too. with just one <laughs> side years ago. I've only added one half, and then I'm like, why doesn't this fit? No, <laughs> I've done it. I've done it myself. So, um, yes. Add it twice. Exactly. Uh, so we are saying, did we see any wedding photos from Cam? Did you post any in places people could see? Oh, no, I, I didn't. I need to do that. I've had a lot of people ask and I haven't. But, um, yes. yeah, where would where would people want to see them if they want to see my wedding? On the official group? Facebook group, on of group, course. I guess. <laughs> Crafty Cameron will post some wedding photos later on for you. I shall make that happen. Okay. It's just going to be a bunch of people who don't know who I am. Who's just like, why is this guy putting his wedding photos? <laughs> they know who you are, Cam. <laughs> they know who you do. are. And um, Crafty Lady Buck is saying, so if I ordered it on the US site and got confirmation, am I all set? Yes. 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 So we're not gonna we're not gonna take away any orders that have already happened. We've just stopped them from happening for now because it was a slightly early thing that shouldn't have happened, and they will be back on tomorrow. So they're not out of stock. We have the stock, we're just waiting to launch them at 10.30 a.m. GMT tomorrow morning for you. Excellent. So, take your scissors, where you've got your score lines crossing, go along the score line, and then take a tiny 
tiny little slither on the side. Make sure you don't take it from the long side, you take it from the short side. Your line goes in on the short side. And then turn it. Because by turning it, they're always going to be in the same place. And so you're not going to get any yeah, you're not gonna, mixtures. You're going to end up with two glue tabs to get that? No. And I've done that before as I've well. I've done that too. Um, so this is basically cutting your glue tabs to glue your lid together. Yes. And we notch them so they fold together neater. Because if you have that full square of card that you're trying to line up It doesn't inside, give you a very neat no, edge. you don't get a nice neat edge, exactly. So, and the reason I go around, it's like a windmill then. Mm -hmm. And I find it easier to do it that way. And you don't mess up. Exactly. The other way you could do it, you know, if you are this way inclined, you could have two glue tabs on one side and two on the other on the same parts. Yeah. So they glue. But, you know, this way, you, you know, you definitely... But no, with me, I'd end up with one yeah, with no glue tabs well. then. Yeah. And then each side is supported, I think, when I've done it that exactly. way. Exactly, exactly. So, now we're going to start gluing these together. So, obviously, you're going to bring them in at a little quarter. There we are. Just make sure I'm not missing anyone over on Facebook. Um, so Sue is saying the train must be a 2022 bestseller. It could well be actually. Absolutely. I wonder what our top selling product of the year is. We might have to go and do some little looking at that. It might be an interesting. I'll go find that now. Karen's going to have a look. I am going to like. glue the opposite sides on this. Oh, Sue has got a riddle for us. Oh, go on, Sue. If I said I have three jars on my desk with tags and other goodies, do you know what I'm making? I know what you're making. You're making a I happiness jar, wonder. aren't you? I love your happiness jar, Sue. Me too. So, I have glued opposite sides. This way, I can pop it on my box. Mm -hmm. I can check, is it fit in? And I can adjust it as well. So if it's not fitting, if it's a little bit too small, a little bit too big, hang on. Let's see if I can do it so I can show you. Pop in that tab. And that's a little bit snug, so I'm going to let that tab out just slightly. Can you see there? So you're just pulling it out. So I'm just pulling it out, so I've got a little thing. bit of a line there. And I'll do the same on the opposite side. I love this about making scoreboard boxes, the kind of versatility that you've got Absolutely. to adjust things and Absolutely. change it up. The other thing you could do, which I don't think I have done, you could add about a millimetre to the size of the square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always remember making scoreboard boxes, when you come to do the lid, you kind of slightly shimmy it over from yeah. the edge, don't you, before yes. you start scoring. And I'm not sure we did. No. So it would be like 17 centimetres plus a millimetre. But it works like this. There we go. Early Days Editor is saying they messed up their sea salt cuts when they were preparing for the craft of oh. using spearmint instead. I think that would still look lovely. Spearmint is very much in oh, the same kind of tonal range of sea salt. There we so. go. Very nice. So there is our box. So as you can see, we've got a nice gap top and bottom. So we are going good guns. Excellent. Right, so let's move on. What have we done next? So we've taken the outer shape and we have cut two in cream, two in spearmint. Sea salt. Sea salt, sorry. <laughs> I've got spearmint on my brain now. So in the spearmint ones, we have cut in the flower dye. So I lined it up and cut it in. Then we've used the extra dye oops, to cut in this pattern. So you can leave your dye in place. Save me moving it away. Leave your dye in place. Line this up. And you can see it fits exactly around that pattern. Then take the other die away, tape that down and run it through your machine. Now, when you've done that, you still have two little pips at the base here that you need to snip. Snippy snip those. Absolutely. So I'm going to come around a little bit there. 
So there is my flower. When you've done that then, you can pop that onto obviously a full cream sheet. Then you take your dye, imagine now that's a full cream sheet. And you take this dye and you marry it up against your die cut. Take that die cut away and then you cut your cream sheet to match. And then you know they're exactly the same. You know they're exact then. So I may or may not have done that when I was prepping this. So if it doesn't line up, it's my fault. I made the prep It'll back. be fine. <laughs> I've got a scissors. It's very true. So the top selling product in the UK this year so far dun, 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 dun. is the kit. Really? Wow. Yes. Okay. Then after the kit, it is 200N. It is the deluxe adhesive. Deluxe adhesive. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> And then it's the Moonstone Glimmer Paste. So they are the top oh, three yeah. selling products in the UK. What would be our top dye? Yeah, oh, what is our top dye? So the kit was the... So mm. if we don't count the kit and we go for the top selling dye, it was Memories to Cherish, my memory book. Right. Mm. There we go. That, that makes sense, yeah. mine, because our memory books fly out. And then the US, it was the kit again. Mm-hmm. Um, 200 N. People <laughs> love their deluxe adhesive. <laughs> and the Lilac Waves Luxury Embossed uh, Speciality Card. Wow. They are the top three selling products wow. in the US. And then if we're just going without the kit, top selling die set would be um, also Memories to Cherish. Memories Everyone to seems, cherish. yes, okay. consistent. Interesting. That's a okay. fun little recap of the year though. I love that 200 N, or as you would know it, Deluxe Adhesive is <laughs> one of our top selling products of the year. Okay. I'm not surprised though. No, I'm not either. So if you've cut it and you're not sure whether it fits properly, line up your cut edge. Don't worry about the outer edge, that's a straight edge. Yeah, you can that can be that. snipped. This is going to be a nightmare to, slip, to snip. I can't even get my words out now. So Anne is saying that her top Christmas, uh, her sorry, her top tonic product this year that she has purchased four times wow. is the full Christmas magic trend because she loves it so much. <gasps> That's dedication. To that the is trend. a lovely trend. It though. is beautiful. Though. I it fully support gorgeous. your decision on that, Anne. It is lovely. We loved that as soon as oh, we saw it, didn't yes, we? Yes, we really, really did. I mean, there's not, you know, we love all the trends. I've got to be honest. So there's my one side. We did exactly the same then. And then you keep that bit. That's an extra bit to mm -hmm. do your decoration or anything else. You could cut your the panel in, you know, with the sheet that you've got left over of amethyst and layer it over the top of the seam. Absolutely. Salt. Or it's your card, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's to make your card. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we do have a couple of card samples here as well of different ways that these have been used together. So, you know, there's a way that you could use your waist fallout. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, somewhere there. There. Go. there we go. So you can see the flower dye that way has been embossed. And the back has been embossed as well. So using the green mats on that one. It's a nice idea. It's something that we don't do enough of. We really should do that more. We Let's should. make that a New Year's resolution. We should emboss more dyes. Absolutely. <laughs> And then you have that gorgeous sound. Oh yes, the squeaky And we may give sound. you some tips of how to do it without getting too many holes as well. Mm. But sometimes an embossed dye with a layering dye on top is really pretty. <gasps> yes. There we are, there's another one to add to next year's list. Uh, so Murray's saying no holiday crafting so far. Uh, new furniture comes from amazing. <gasps> what have you got Excellent. coming? Excellent. So all the cleaning's done then, Mo? Yeah, have you have you moved everything out and cleaned behind all of the old stuff? Oh, that's a nightmare. I've not moved my sofa for a good four years, so I dread to think what that looks like behind there. We did move ours this year because we had new sofas. And there was quite a few bits found underneath the sofa. I bet, yes. Harvey's toys were in... Harvey's my dog, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought to better clarify that one. Not your husband. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Don't think we want that. <laughs> oh, dear mm. me. 
Yeah, we move our sofa quite often because our dogs keep getting their toys underneath the sofa and they get fixated. They will not leave us alone. Oh, Stitch is just staring it. underneath the sofa and he's staring at us. And if we don't ignore, if we be like, no, I'm not lifting the sofa up to get your toy that you keep putting underneath there. And he'll, he'll just like, he'll do a little back up, a little shuffle back. My dog does and, that too. And she he, gets grumpy he, with us. She kind of shuffles backwards and kind of... Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And he right. won't leave it alone. You'll try, but he won't leave it. I tell her what you need. <laughs> You need a lot of wooden spoons you can just get on the floor and scoop You it. need a walking stick. Oh, yeah. That would be handy. We have, uh, my uncle had a crook. So it's like a walking stick, but it's got a V on the top of it. So that's longer than a walking stick. And my dog loses his balls, loses his tennis balls, he likes to play with those, underneath the sideboard. So we kind of sweep underneath the sideboard <laughs> with the stick. And they all fly out the other end then, so he's quite happy. That's why you need Cam. Oh. Well, there's times where there's nothing underneath the sofa, and he's just like, there's something there, and we lift the sofa, and we're just like, look, look for yourself. So he gets underneath nothing the sofa, here. and he's looking around, and he's like, where'd it go? And I'm just like, oh, see, told you. Oh, bless him. So, Mo is saying that um, they actually haven't done the clean yet. Oh, oh, you've got a busy evening ahead then. Three kids, and the old stuff is a large sectional that's five years old. So probably you've got about <sighs> as much stuff under yours as I've got under mine. More than likely. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to lay this pattern. Let's kitchen. Am I sorry? <laughs> I think I might need to stand up you. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. There Let's we go. Push that back. And the kitchen. Right. <laughs> no, there's no change. Absolutely no you are change. so rude, Cameron. <laughs> I didn't laugh. Do you know, I can really go off people. <laughs> <laughs> so we look in there now and we are lining up everything to make sure that we're all in the right place you could add paper piece into these you know with your bits of amethyst that you've got left um you could add a little bit of shimmer powder behind you could paint with the shimmer powder Mm. you could put a little bit of mousse you can mousse some card and pop that into the flowers lots of nice ideas like if you wanted to kind of colour them in different colours, you could put one die cut down and colour, you know, the flowers purple and the yes. leaves green and then put another die cut over the top to hide if you've gone over the edges or anything. Yes, you can. Or you could snip out these flowers, snip a couple of them out, colour them. I don't know any of my cards because I did that. <laughs> oh, did I don't you? Know where our cards have gone. Well, no, that's not you, was no, either. I don't have them down here. Yeah, I, um, I coloured them and cut them in a different colour. And layered them on top, I'm pretty sure I did. You know, if you've got pencils or alcohol markers. Mm -hmm. Nice idea to use. And I think it's relaxing. So Murray's just reminding everyone there is a great sale on chalk mousse at the moment. There is an amazing bundle of chalk mousse. I think it was in, was it in Wednesday deals? Midweek deals, or is it from last weekend? I think it's last weekenders. So yeah, there is a, a huge bundle. I think it's like six, five or six colours of chalk mousse, if I remember rightly. Mm, nice. Something like that. But you Quite know, get your hands on that now because that's going to be off the website in the next yes, hour or two. Yes, it's very true. You've only got until four. What happens over Christmas? Do any bargains get left on the the website oh, that's over a good Christmas? Question. Well, yes, because I can't turn them off. So anything that goes up is up there until we. Are back in work so and when I we do oh we're not going to be doing a weekend we're not Friday, we? so keep an eye on the website over christmas yeah indeed there's definitely going to be some bargains over christmas all indeed. sorts indeed. do we have a vault indeed. going up indeed. over christmas indeed. Well, I've, uh, uh, yes possibly <laughs> who knows <laughs> who knows you will have to look out boxing so, day there you are turn your turn your computer on on boxing day yes with, you know, cheese in one hand, drink in the other, just nudge the power button with your nose, go shopping. Go just be mad. careful if you do that. <laughs> you may end up with more than you bargained for. Very true. There we go. So that is the main part of our box done. And I like to put it on an angle because you get the, the dub- dual aspect. Well aspect yeah, exactly, you know? exactly. So inside now, we're gonna pop the acetate. Oh, hang on now. There we are. To the two sides that haven't got any cutouts on. 
And the reason I've done that is so that we we get the most sparkle. I wanted more, more, more sparkle out of this. I mean, you could put in this um, the battery operated candles because mm -hmm. they come in a really big size now, don't they? Well, They're I not have just some lovely little. ones that you know, really like yes. big pillar candle type candles. And the other reason I've done this is I'm covering that tab. Yeah. I know Are I can't reckons? cover. Absolutely. I know I can't cover the one on the other side. So I'll give that a little press. And oh, Tabby was saying that uh, their resolution was not to buy so much hobby stuff in 2023. But now it seems to go down the drain already. Vault went, well, <laughs> lucky for you, Tabby, it's going to happen before New Year. So you can still stick still to your resolution. Have time. Kind of. But, you know, we're going to be releasing new stuff next year. And you're probably going to want that too. So. And like we've been working <gasps> on it. And mm, mm, mm. Yes. say no more. I know we say this every year, and every year we seem to better what we've done before. I know, I know. I can't wait for... Oh, March is going to be a good month. Definitely. I think so. January's going to be so. a good month as well. There's some lovely things coming in January. They're all going to be good months. They're all going to be good months. So that is the inside of our box. And the size of these is... Da -da -da, let me find it. 20 by 14 centimetres minus a smidge so it's 14 centimeters minus about a mil i would say yes I just so say, how what is the measurement for smidge. a smidge <laughs> a mil you Millimeter. just kind of take it slightly off the off the line just yeah the, the top oh, you cut a sliver yeah. cut a slither. that's for the fold line because it's an internal fold line not an external fold line so that really is our box made mm -hmm. and if i pop the lights in you can see how pretty they look. I love it. Oh, I Thank do as well. Lights. Right, so let's get on with the lid. What are we going to do with the lid? So we've got some ribbon in the kit. So I'm going to find a bit of tape because I didn't have any tape. Oh, sorry, I'm going to grab you some of that. That's oh, all right. Geez. That's all right. And again, I want this to end on a corner. So I'm going round from a corner. Whoops. Find the middle. That's good. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hang right, on. I'm going to have to put you to start with. Oh, and Crafts is saying, is anyone else thinking of getting a second home to hold all the craft stuff? Absolutely. I mean, this is why garden rooms were invented, <gasps> wasn't it? Yes. Um, and or a conservatory. Oh, yes. That would be lovely. Or oh, maybe not so much in this weather, but in the summer. Or extension. Yes. <laughs> And it's saying it's her tonic anniversary at the beginning of February. She became a tonic addict oh, in 2021. Wonderful. Wonderful. Congratulations on making it to almost two years of tonicaholism. I'm sure that's a thing. Tonicaholism? It could possibly yes. be. We'll go with it. It could be. We'll go with it. Okay, so do you think I could have a bit of ribbon, please? Sorry, I was just stroking it. <laughs> Oh, oh dear. Exactly. Lovely. Um, Tabby May is saying that um, her craft room has a little space left to actually craft. It looks like a tonic showroom. I yes. bet. We, we work in a very similar Have you space. put a picture of your craft room? That's what we want to see over Christmas. Oh, yes. Your craft rooms, because you've put away all your Christmas stuff then and you're ready to start for the new year. So you can do a nice, tidy picture of your craft room. Please put pictures in the... I think yeah. mine will be tidy, but sure. <laughs> we should do a beginning of the year where, you know, it's, it's tidiest <laughs> at the end yeah, of the year. Let's first of all, see the post-Christmas crafting craft math and then the, everyone's coming for Christmas and I need to make even this room yes. look presentable. Yeah, show us your worst and show us your best. Yeah. A before and after. Everyone loves a before Absolutely. and after. Absolutely. Oh, do you know, I had to pack up my craft room and I was a bit gutted. Maybe I it is sad when you have to do that. I miss my craft room. <laughs> and Tabby says, a nice and tidy craft room. What planet are you from, Alison? <laughs> I mean, we say this, but you see the craft room every Monday if you're on our Facebook group. You have seen the state of our craft room upstairs. So you know you do see it. how we craft. So what did I put on you? Do you know, I forget what I've done. 
Right, flowers. We've got flowers. Flowers and sentiment and a lovely big bow. Right, what I'm going to say to you is make your flowers and put them to one side because you need to put your drops in them. And I'm going to have flowers with no drops. We forgot to bring down the bowl tool as well. Oh no, do we not have one? I well, there's definitely a bowl tool and use maybe your embossing mat. I it's not do, quite the I? same. I could do. And I have a couple of foam pads here. That's Brilliant. Good. Yeah, you, you know that piece of foam pads that's kind of shared in? It's one of them. But it'll be fine. Raquel is saying that we should send out enamel pins for, you know, people's tonic anniversaries. So once that you've hit like lush. five years, you get a pin. That sounds delightful. <laughs> and she's saying that her craft room is crazy right now. It looks like the Christmas elves had a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a naughty elf that pops in? I, I must have, honestly, based on the state of my room. Because I can't possibly have left it like that. <laughs> Well, I went in, my friend said to me the other day, she said, oh, she said, I'm looking for a watch winder, she said, for my husband. And it's, it's a box, you sit your watch in it, and you, some of the watches, you have to have like an automatic movement thing on them. So this box moves your watch for you, so it keeps it going. Um, and I went, I'd go one of them in the house. And it's a bit of a weird thing to have, isn't it? But... My uncle insisted that he really needed this watch winder. And, and he's no longer with us. So I've got this watch winder. I think his watch is still sat in it. Aww. I know, but I'm not using it. But it is in the room that was my craft room, which is now filled with furniture from my son's house <laughs> um, mm -hmm. that he moved out of. And it was obviously cheaper to leave it in my house than it was to put it in storage. Of course, of course. Um, it's also full of garden, you know, all the cushions off the garden furniture, they're in there. There's a chair that I've had from my mother's house that I was going to cover. My mother's not been with us for 10 years and they're still there waiting to be done. So you can imagine what this room looks like, don't know. I went to have a look last night. This chair started falling off the top, the cushions were sliding everywhere and I just thought... Mm. You just shut the, shut the door and shut the door <laughs> yeah. tonight because this was like 10 o'clock last night. So I thought, no, shut the door, yeah, walk reverse, away. Slowly back out the room and pull the door. I remember we all had the same thought. Just yeah. shut the door. Yeah. Shut the door and have a look another day. That was my thought. Now, Kaz seems to think that uh, before and after will be the worst of all time. I'm sure it won't be, Kaz. I'm sure the rest of us are equally shameful with our craft rooms, honestly. I used to have a tip. <laughs> And it was, a, it was a, a table with two leaves on it. And I used to just push it along. And when it started falling off the other end... That's it. I'd finish a project, put all of that stuff there. Finish another project, move. Yeah. <laughs> Next project, move. And yeah, when they started to go off the edge. It's like those machines in the arcades where the two peas fall off into <laughs> yeah. the next layer. Yeah. Then you yeah. think, I've mm, got to start. Maybe I should start tidying up. Right, little then. tip for you. Check your sign the size of your oval or the check the scallops on your oval because yes. they're not the same on both sides. So if you want to match up, make sure you've got the right side. There we go. So we, we are having mothers. If mothers were flowers, I'd pick you. Aww. And that is gorgeous. And you can offset that a little bit so you can see a little bit of the the amethyst, I think I'll go that way. Pop a few foam pads underneath. Do you know, these foam pads are not my favourite. I like the ones. great big ones. Oh, I love the little ones. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. They used to drive me nuts when these were all you could get. I was so excited when we had the bigger foam pads. I guess they're quite fiddly, aren't they? They used to drive me around the bend. And everywhere you go, you've got these little squares following you. I went to the dentist on Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> and I think as you I can guess. Laying, laying down in the dentist chair, I could see little bits of ballet pink confetti from die cutting and uh, the backing from a foam pad as I was like, oh, 
Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Obviously walked that in. But you know, it's all, been on my shoe, out of the office, down through the warehouse, out to the car, driving to the dentist, from the car park, all the way through the medical centre, into the dentist, into the room. I mean, and then falling off. Staying on you for the whole journey. Or it was tucked in my dress. I guess that's also a possibility you know, so Oh dear. Yeah. So we love a few form pads on the back as well, I think. <laughs> May not have as many. Legolas is saying that when will we design, as in tonic, um, a fold-up craft room? Um, we could place that room right beside the house or the garden. Oh, wouldn't that be lush? It would. You know, like those tents. We'll get Richard on it now. That you just make a ping and it's the hair. <laughs> Pop-up craft room. Yes. Oh, that's a nice one. I love the whole pack of those. Crafty Ladybug is saying that crafting, organising and keeping things tidy are all different tasks. And we they can't are. possibly be equally good in all areas. This is very true. That is I would say true. there's two hobbies around crafting. There's collecting, organising and storing craft supplies. And then there's actually using them. That you is You can true. only be good at one or the other. You can't be good at both. Oh, well, mine's definitely not the tidy line. I missed that when I was at the end of that go. Yes, me too. I tend to tidy. You know, you have a mad tap and everything has to be sorted. That's me. Before that, I'm quite happy it can stay there. And then it's all of a sudden, right, it has to be done and it has to be done now. There we are. So we, we're going on the jaunty angle again, obviously, because I'm bringing everything into that angle at the front. And then we have some flowers. So I'm going to use my silicon. Ooh. That's covered in fallout, yeah. yeah. That's the one. So I'm going to fold that over so get a nice lot of bumps. <laughs> <laughs> so we're kind of saying that we all have that craft evidence story. It's proof that crafts are loyal, they stick with us. They do. So the way I like to do these is if you slot one over the other and then bring the bottom. We used to have a punch years ago that did this. And I know people have asked for the punch, but you can bring the bottom layer up and just keep clicking around. Hang on, have I done that one right now? Yes. And they just, you can do this in two colours as well. So the bottom layer petals then come around to the front. There they are. So I don't know how close you can get on that front. Are you able to see that if I lift up the bottom, there we are. So the ones I'm lifting now are the bottom petals. So they could be cream. So it makes a really pretty effect. And then you can just pop a little bit of shape in. Maybe it's not shaping that. We pop it in my hand. Yeah, is it not working on that mat? Not really, but okay. it's all right. We'll do it in my hand. There we I'll are. I'll click some more flowers to go for you. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Probably and should then, assemble some of these beforehand, but there we go. It doesn't matter. So you've got a couple of shapes. You've got three different shapes in these. And should we do one? Oh, do you want to do a multi one? I was going to say, should we do a multi one? Do you want? Okay. Yeah, I've got yeah. a cream and an aubergine. Just to show the difference. And you can use different petals as well, it doesn't matter. Use that one. There we are, because the centre is the same size. You can hear there's a little clicking of the petals I know. going over each other. This can be so therapeutic on times. Just sitting so and shaping flowers. Absolutely. So there we go. That's a, oops, that's a different one. And they are really pretty. I love making these. Okay. So uh, Anne is saying that she has no excuse. She lives on her own. Right. And she uses her lounge and conservatory for all of her craft stuff. Oh, and I don't blame her. They're both full and it's been less than two years. <gasps> That's dedication. Wow. I'm very impressed. But i got to be honest, Anne. Were you crafting before you joined Tonic? You must have been. But you've, you've learned so much since you've been with us as well. Because mm -hmm. I've seen the stuff that you post. And it is beautiful. Right, that's that one. There we are. So we lift the top petals and we leave the bottom ones down. 
Wait a moment. There we are. There we go. And then you can. I'm going to put my ribbon on first, I think, because I want to pop a little bow. And I'm going to have nice long tails on this bow. Because mm -hmm. we've got lots of ribbon, so we love the most of it. Absolutely. So the only way I know how to make a bow is two bunny ears, cross them over. I can't get my fingers out of the way. And then one of the bunnies goes through the hole. And that's my bow. And then give it a tweak. There we go. That's my bow ready to go on. So onto this then. I am going to stick. Possibly I will put another one on the back so I can sandwich this in the middle. But it doesn't really matter. I don't have to. I don't think I did on mine because I had the narrow, narrow ribbon. Didn't the you? narrow ribbon. And so I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. I did. What did you sandwich it? Yeah, you sandwiched it behind the flower. I, I might have. I might have. But it doesn't matter. We can just pop that on the front and then put another one on the back. Yeah, and so she has been crafting a long time, um, but it's the tonic stuff that's taking up the space. Oh. Thank you for your lovely comment. Oh, oh right. your Anne's work is lovely. Oh, it's gorgeous, Anne. Do you want me to shape a couple of these for you? Yeah, if you want to. I can do that. There we are. Oh, I haven't cut the other end. Who needs a foam mat? When you have a hand. There we are. We're about the same length, so that's okay. It's like a massage for you. It is. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of glue. I'm sure there's a bit of reflexology in there somewhere. Probably. I wonder which pressure points I'm hitting at the moment. If I nod off, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> if you nod off, I'm giving him a good dig in the ribs. Okay. Hopefully I won't nod off onto the radiator. <laughs> <laughs> so, put our lid on. Glue over there, which I didn't intend to have. But if you have a bit of glue, what do you do? You put a flower in Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Am I going the right way? No. That way. So, pop my lid on. Come on. I think it's because I've got this trailing up the side. There we go. That's it. So, where I've got this little bit of glue that I didn't want, we'll pop some flowers. Uh, we have one of these. Everyone is now doing tonicalism confessionals in chat. Oh, it sounds fabulous. Uh, Linda Kaufman is joining us. Welcome in, Linda, from Minnesota. Apparently it's Hello. snowing there. <gasps> My word. Lucky you. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have another one by there. And then I think we have this one. Just by there. I am a bit messy with a glue gun, I will admit that. But if, if you do find you get a few strands, heat it with a heat gun afterwards and they'll disappear. So I'm going to add my ribbon now, my ribbon bow, onto that corner to make that pretty. Oh, I may have stuck the, the bow I was going to put there. I think I've stuck on the top. The oh, flower. Wow. Never mind. It's okay. There we go. So we'll pop that in place. So that's on the corner. And then onto these little tabs then, we will put a little flower. And the last one then. There we go. So you could add another flower onto the front. Let's turn that off because I'm a bit dangerous. There we go. And that then is your box with your flowers. I haven't added my drops. 
I'm obviously not going to be able to add these unless I bring them up the top. <laughs> That's yeah, definitely my uh, drop your flowers before you add them. If you them forget, bring them up to the top and drop them afterwards. But ideally, do them beforehand. So there Monica is saying that she's only been buying tonics since this year. The products are fabulous and she's been able to purge other supplies to get even older dyes and she loves them so much and the makes are amazing. Thank Aww. you. We're glad to have you with us, Monica. So I'm going to bring in the one that I did earlier. So I had the thinner ribbon in this one. So I added more strands. I'm going to pop the lid back on and there are your two boxes. So I can't wait to see what you do with yours because mm -hmm. I know they're going to be beautiful and we're going to be so excited to see them. Yes, definitely. If you um, have been making along or you're coming back to making along this evening yes. after work or whatever, do pop some pictures um, into the Facebook group for us. We'd love to see them. We would. We would. Very much so. So I hope you have enjoyed. Um, our Mo is saying that you're the queen of drops. So, uh, <laughs> hers always come out wonky. Oh, that's just have a drop, little though. bit of confidence, that's yeah. all. Do a few practice dots first on a scrap of card to make sure you've gone away in the nozzle. Um, store them upside down if you can because that means that your drops are always ready to go. Um, make sure they're not clogged. I, I um, what did we say recently? So I have like an old cutting plate that I use for dropping on. You do? So that I can just lift that plate up and put it on a shelf out of the way and I don't accidentally, you know, lean in it, put my fingers in it. Yeah. And I always have my little bit of scrap card that I've tested my drops on with it because I can touch those then to see when they're dry rather than touching the That's ones a good tip, that are mate. actually in the That is a good project. tip. Yes. I like that tip a lot because there's quite a few times I've gone to touch them and I've, oh, I'm going to have to do that again. Yeah, we've <laughs> done it so many times. So Don't again in that. the group, put your drop tips. Yes, if you've got what any tips top, have you got? top drop tips, top tips for drops. You've done a video on uh, drops, haven't you? I have. Yes. Two, I think. Because yeah. Karen and I did one when we had the drops relaunch as well, the new colours back in. Yes, that was me and I did another one with Alex. Yes, yeah, very long video that was. Good fun that was as well. <laughs> so if you don't already have this kit and you would like to have a go and you'd like to grab one, just a quick repeat. So you can buy this as a one-off kit. Uh, we do still have one-off kits. Uh, yes. We do. Yes, okay, yes. good. Yes. Just before I say that, <laughs> I definitely check that we actually have stock of those. So in the UK, a one-off kit would be £34.99 and in the US it's $39.99. If you would like to subscribe to the kit and get them on a monthly basis going forwards, in the UK that's £29.99 or $32.99 in the US. Or you can subscribe quarterly, a great thing to add to your wish list if you know, you're know uh, you asking Santa for something nice. Uh, in the UK that's £89.97 and in the US it's $97.97. As long as you do one of those options before the 18th of this month then you'll get this kit as your first kit and then you'll get the other ones obviously going forwards. Um, what else I need to tell you, if you subscribe, so if you choose the monthly or the quarterly option, you would of course get your TCK code, so you'll get your 10% discount across the rest of the website, including all of the bundles and sales and vaults and other deals that we do. You don't want to miss out on an extra 10% off, know. do you? I mean, that's a, that's a hefty discount. It depends how much you buy. If you buy a lot, then it is a hefty discount then, isn't it? It is. It is. But they still add up, even if your orders are small. Yeah. You know, yeah, any little bit definitely helps, worth doing. And then I guess, you know, as of the 20th, we'll have a brand new kit for you. Should we get a nice close-up shot of this? We should certainly so. try and do that if we, if we can. There oh, we go. Look how pretty really, that is. I love them. And I think on the one that you did before, you've actually got that pearlized. You know, you said about using the mousse on the paper. Can you yes. see that flower hanging down right yes, at the I front? Yes, I did. I did. So yeah, I if you wanted to just, that. um, with a sponge, brush, yeah, it is that one. It's that one, isn't it? Brush some of the embellishment mousse over your cardstock. The bottom flower, oh, that's it. And you'll get this lovely kind of pearlized finish in a slightly different hue, obviously depending on which paper you use it on. Absolutely. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed our craft along for this month. Chaotic We've as always. We've enjoyed, always chaotic, isn't it? Always. 
technical issues and everything. I'm so sorry, I wasn't ignoring you, YouTube. It just literally wasn't showing your chat in our chat program, which was very rude, I think. I think that's dreadful. Terrible. I feel <sighs> very festive on YouTube, are they? Obviously not. Um, Linda has a top tip. Um, if you put a smallish bit of white and then a black in the center, you can use them as eyes. Brilliant Lovely. Tip. Yep. Love those. If you do that on one of our white um, messy mats, the messy mats, they are yeah. that, aren't they? Leave them all to dry and then you can pick them off and you can then stick them onto your projects. Make your own if eyes you... for anything you need. Or on your glass mat, obviously. Anyone who does sugar craft, have you done any colouring and shaping? Then you can take that in with your crystal drops as well. Do a line of dots um, in white and red with a little bit of a hook on the end. Draw through your, your craft pick and you can make a candy cane out of mm. them. Mm. And they are really pretty. I might have to go and try that when I get upset. Either your craft pick or a small ball tool. Ooh. Either one. Okay, I'm going to try that when we get there back upstairs. I'm going to give that a go. So, don't forget, if you have enjoyed the craft along today, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube. If you've got friends that you think might enjoy this kind of crafty mayhem, give us a share as well. You know, invite them into our little tonic community. We'd love to have them join us. Maybe they're looking for ideas or mm -hmm. just a spark of inspiration. Exactly. Because sometimes that's all you need is someone to show you something but you go off in a completely different area, but you just need that spark. Exactly, exactly. Um, who is it I just saw then? So Gail is saying she needs to practice with the drops. Hers are atrocious. Um, go back and have a look on the YouTube video. I uh, don't know if you can find a link for us, but on our YouTube channel, there is a complete guide to drops, and I've got a couple of tips on there mm. for how to get like nice, even, drops and practice check your it nozzles is. yeah check your nozzles make sure that it's coming out nice and fluidly if you've got if it's coming out like a line or like a little worm you need to keep going Clean until it, it comes out as a blob instead because yeah. that just means it's a tiny bit hard in the end they water base so over time if you've had them for a little while water will evaporate from them so the top end of your bottle can be a little bit thick that's why I'm saying store them upside down because if it does thicken, it's going to be at the top of your bottle and not where you're using it. Exactly. So, exactly. That's that. me, Tit. Um, where are we up to? Let's have a look. Do I need to say anything else? Obviously, as always with our store, you can pay in instalments, not for your subscriptions, of course, um, but for any yeah. of your other purchases that you may have to just put in your basket, you know, like trains and boxes and all kinds of lovely things. They may like need that. to go there. You, you might just have to, exactly. So you can pay in installments with ClearPay, ShopPay and PayPal or Afterpay in the US. I know we've said it already, but do tag us in your mix. We absolutely love to see what you guys are making, your hauls, your craft rooms. Just come and be social with us in the Facebook group. And your tips. Instagram. For yeah. whatever that tips. tip is. Whatever it is. Storage tips, drop tips, making flower tips, anything you've got, we'd love to hear it. Absolutely. And we will be back tomorrow. We have a very festive weekend for you that we have no idea what we're doing yet. So uh, that'll be fun. But we'll be here. <laughs> and we hopefully will here. you will be too. Here at midday. Um, so I guess we will see you then. Have a brilliant afternoon and happy crafting. Bye. Bye.